Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, here with a daily free pick. So yesterday we did not have a pick. Um, happens every once in a while. I think it's the second time since I started doing uh, the series of videos that we didn't have a pick. And simple reason, it just wasn't enough value out there yesterday. So like I didn't bet on a single game yesterday and it does happen. Um, but a day, you know, if you can't find value, um, a day of not betting is a lot more profitable than a day of going, you know, one and two or oh and three or something like that, right? So at the end of the day, sometimes the right play is no play at all. And uh, I do find that um, when you go back over games again and again and you're, you're, you know, you're coming back to the same conclusion that, you know, there's not a lot of value, the marginal value, um, any further, you know, research into that game, all you're going to be doing is looking to prove um, a hypothesis that is probably false, you know? So if you can't find value doing what you do over the first, you know, several times looking at a game, do you ever find yourself betting that game anyways, like going back to it and being like, oh yeah, well, you know what? Oh, maybe I didn't consider this or, or, or that. And what, what you're really doing is you're, you're, you're reaching, like you're, you're stretching to try and find a way to bet on that game. And at the end of the day, like my experience is that, um, it's human nature to, you know, once you believe in something, um, to try and prove that, right? And that's why, I think that's why people get, you know, so divided. I'm not going to get into politics, but I think, you know, that's one of the reasons. It's human nature that, you know, once you believe in something, um, people tend to get entrenched in it. I mean, people can sometimes not be very open-minded. And that's why, you know, you see very... Um, very polar opposites in, you know, in U.S. politics right now, even Canadian politics. And um, just because people, you know, they'll, they'll find information to support what they already believe, right? So, I mean, if someone believes strongly in Republican beliefs, they're going to, you know, find things that support that. And same thing on the Democratic side. If they believe in, in Democratic views, they're, they're going to find that information. And, guys, it's no different than, than sports betting. So sports betting is the same thing. If you... If, if you are struggling to come to a conclusion of a, of a game and, you know, then you think, okay, well, I, I kind of like this side. You'll find ways to make yourself love that side. Believe me. If you keep looking at it, you'll keep finding little things and uh, eventually, you know, they're going to cause you to make bad decisions. So um, my experience is, and I've told you guys this in the past, I'll go through all my games and I'll circle them. I'll create kind of my lines, what I think, you know, the line should be, circle the games. Um, go back to those games that have been circled. I mean, I go back through every game, but specifically focus on those games that are circled. And the first thing I'm going to do is try and rule them out. Okay. And wh why I try and rule them out is I find that, again, if I'm trying to prove what I believe to be correct, I can. But if I can try and rule those out by finding contradictory information, then, you know, that's a lot easier. And, and I know that I'm not just, you know, reinforcing uh, my own beliefs. I'm actually using, you know, objective kind of information. So it's important to, you know, kind of rule those games out. Uh, if I can't rule a game out, that's when I'll go and I'll look at it and I'll try and build my case, right? So yesterday couldn't do that. But anyways, just a little insight into kind of how I make my picks, guys. So um, try it out. Try it. It's, it's a bit of a game changer. Really find the games you like, okay? Circle them. Go back through. And try and find reasons not to bet them. You know, maybe you're betting with the public. You know, maybe the line moved a couple points the wrong way, whatever the case may be, guys. But, you know, try and find reasons not to bet. It. And if you can't, then go back and look at it objectively and now find reasons why you should bet it. If you can find a lot of reasons to bet it and not a lot of reasons not to or no reasons not to, then you got to bet. All right, guys. So for today, I have two plays for you guys um, actually in the exact same game. So we have Carolina playing against Florida. Um, so first off in this game, um, we like we like the under in this game. So the under opened up at six and a half. It dropped down to six, but there's still been some money now coming in again, public money coming in on the over. So that's like kind of what I, I, I talked to you guys about in the past where I said, you know, there's that value as soon as the game is like released, as soon as those numbers come up, and then there's value sometimes right at the very end. Because this is a great example. Because in the beginning, 
The, the game opened up six and a half. Well, the sharps pound the under. Okay, the multiple sharp betters, uh, steam play, hard on the under. Okay, <clears throat> now, now we're starting to get that public money come in. So the over goes to you know minus one fifteen, minus twenty, and that's where we're at right now. Um, I don't think, to be honest, it'll be long before you know if it if I would say if that over gets to minus one twenty five. Um, boom, you're going to get the sharps back in the game, back on the under. So what we're going to do on this particular play, guys, is we are going to, uh, because the under six is even money, like plus 100 right now. So we're going to buy the half point. So we're going to end up paying, you know, 10 cents more juice than when the line opened. So we're going to take under six and a half minus 120. So under six and a half minus 120, um, Right now, uh, Carolina's been playing good hockey. Um, they're 3-0. and Florida has been, you know, hot and cold. Um, but again, I like, I like this matchup. So I'm looking for, uh, you know, at home, Bobrovsky to find his stride. I think, I think Florida's a much better team um, than, well, I know they're a much better team than they were last year. And uh, I think that, you know, they're, they're starting to put, the pieces together um now on the flip side carolina i think is playing a little bit above their uh, their pay grade but um i think that you know this it, it's a good matchup where you can get two teams that again are going to kind of trying to feel each other out i don't think it's going to be like a wide open back and forth score fest um so i like the under at six and a half now on the flip side as well having sung the praises of, you know, Carolina, they've started open the season three and O and Florida's, you know, kind of struggle a little bit to find themselves. Um, we're going to be on Florida. Yeah. Crazy, right? Um, no, we're going to be on Florida. And, um, again, guys, so right off the bat, you have Bobrovsky and net, um, Carolina has Reimer in net, uh, backup, but, He's been playing, like, even preseason and the start of regular season, he's been playing really strong. Um, but that being said, I still think the edge in this game, um, offensively and, you know, in goal, goes to Florida. And at the money line being at minus 120, very comfortable. I think there's there's quite a bit of value there. Um, so that's going to be our picks for today, guys. We are going to take the under 6.5, and we are going to take the money line. Um, so sorry, under six and a half at minus 120. And we're going to take the money line minus 120 on Florida Panthers. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. Um, let's hope for a four nothing, four nothing Florida win. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, guys. That's uh, that's it for today. Um, back tomorrow, provided we can find value. And don't worry, guys. I had I had a lot of you guys messaging me yesterday, and like, you know, I'm getting a pick. What's going on? Where I'm not going anywhere. I'm not disappearing. I promise. Uh, just some days, you know. I I don't know. Maybe those days I'll post a, a different video about you know just random sports betting stuff. But uh, end of the day, guys, just couldn't find value yesterday, but we found some today. So um, that's it. And as always, have a lucky day. <laughs>